Hello, hi, how you doing? It's been a while. It's been uh, three months, I think, since I uploaded. What's been happening? I graduated. That was fun. I've been working off and on. More off, but you know, that's the joy of a graduate trying to get a job. I technically have a job now, actually. So hopefully that it, it, it becomes an actual thing, like full time, because Right now, I really don't know what's happening, but I'm too nervous to ask what's happening. So, yeah, I moved back to London. I think that's quite apparent because I finished uni in like April, graduated in September. Be a bit weird if I was still there. Um, I don't know if I've shown these before. I really can't remember, it's been that long. But yeah, so I've got my uh, Infinity War and uh, Endgame posters. They're lovely. I passed my driving test. Yeah, past that, I can now legally drive. My uh, license turned up today. I mean, I, I can legally drive from the moment I pass the test, but I didn't have a physical license. I just had a bit of paper saying I can drive. Uh, but now I have a physical license, so that's great. I can drive a car. Um, my birthday's coming up, so uh, hopefully mum gets me a car. She, she won't, but it's so, they're so expensive. And the car's not even the worst bit. Okay, so, I'm setting myself a budget of two and a half, three thousand pounds, and that's not just money I have, that's money that's been in savings since I was like, not even born. But yeah, so that's the budget I'm setting because I don't want to be spending 10 grand on a car for my first car and then not be able to drive it confidently because I'm so scared of like crashing it. Not that that's not going to be the case with a car I do get, but the cheaper it is, the less upset I'm going to be if that makes sense. The worst bit though is the insurance because a car is, depending on how you pay for it, if you pay for it all in one go, it's one upfront lump sum of money. So say 3,000 pounds. The insurance is the thing that's gonna bankrupt me because for just a year, just so I can drive this thing legally for a year, it's gonna cost me somewhere in the vicinity of 13 to 1,500. So that's one and a half thousand pounds for a year. That's almost half the cost of the car for one year. And that's because my age group are idiots. One of the first things I'm going to do as soon as I get a car is make sure it's installed with a black box so I can actually prove I'm a decent driver. I'm gonna get a dash cam so if anything does happen, I can prove it's not me, you know? If it is me, then the dash cam might suddenly stop working, but that's, that's for another day. I mean, a sat nav is more expensive than just a phone holder. So uh, I'll get a phone holder and I'll just, you know, get Google Maps up on my phone. So three things when I get a car, black box, dash cam, and phone holder slash sat nav, depending on how I feel. Because, yeah. I upgraded my computer. This doesn't make any difference to you whatsoever, but I upgraded my computer. So I used to have this issue where it would keep freezing every well, it's not even every now and then, it was just random times. There was no rhyme or reason as to why it would freeze. I've now put it down to the fact that it was like a dodgy motherboard or something, I have no idea. But ever since I first got the thing two years ago, whenever it was, it's had this issue of just freezing. In December, I think, in December, I invested, let's say, in some new computer parts, so I essentially just revamped everything. So yeah, I just got a new graphics card, new CPU, uh, new motherboard. Oh, and it's all pretty and it lights up now because the RAM I've got is um, is RGB. That's one thing I forgot. I got new RAM as well. It's great. So I recently started a job, which I'm hoping sort of stays around for a while. That's if I don't mess it up. But essentially what I'm doing is editing videos. I don't know what I can say more than that, but I'm editing as a job. I actually learned how to edit because I had to teach myself how to do it to then edit these. I had to edit YouTube videos, so obviously I needed to learn how to edit to then edit said YouTube videos. One of the joys about video editing is there's a lot of stuff that I need to ingest. Not me personally, my computer. There's a lot of footage and content which I then need to take, put onto my computer, the storage, and then edit. So the way this works is I will edit a video each day and then send it off. So that's five videos a week. I will get notes on the videos. I will then need to take that video, 
re-edit it and you know sort out the notes that have been made on it say like there's a weird transition there or you know change the audio level there and then send that back off so essentially it's i'll do a video and then about two weeks later i'll work on it again because i'll have notes i need to change the joy of that is i don't know when i can actually delete stuff after three weeks um i have 200 plus gigabytes in one folder of just this content it's getting to the it's got to the point it's not getting to it, it got to the point i got paid today so my first paycheck and the first thing i bought was more storage it's a vicious cycle because the more i do the more i get paid but the more i do the more i need to spend on storage so yes that's that's what i'm up to at the minute um, just investing money into my computer, pretty much. So there's this app called Double Take, and this isn't a sponsor segment, I just really like this app. Essentially what it does, it's a camera. Obviously you can see, you can see my camera. If I push this thing down here, it then opens this. So I'm now recording, or well not recording, but I then have access to two cameras. This is you, by the way, you're, you're a camera. I hate to break it to you, you're a camera. But yeah, so, you know, I can see you, I can see the thing behind, and I can record both of them simultaneously. And it's a lot of fun, because it then means I could be doing this, and I could be talking to you, while also showing you something that's over there. And it's a lot of fun. So I actually recorded a setup video, because, you know, I could be showing my setup, and then, say there's something wrong, I could cut to my face. And what I found is, because my computer's under my desk, it meant I was sort of, you know, lying down a lot. Which then meant if I ever needed to cut to my face, it would be like this. Yeah, that video won't ever surface. Um, yeah, you, you, you're never going to see it, but it did exist at one point. Anyway, I don't know what else to talk about, so I'm just going to leave it here. Hopefully I can actually do more videos like this because I have missed doing it. It's really weird. I fell out of a routine and this is the second time I've attempted to record this because the first time was really weird but I can just talk and talk and talk and talk and I don't actually think about what I'm talking about, I just talk. And it's great, it's a lot of fun, but it means I'm sat there for absolutely ages cutting out the random segments which don't make any sense and I probably can't say anything about or they just don't sound right and yeah, it's, yeah. So this is me editing right now. Um, <clears throat> As uh, you've just seen me saying, I tend to waffle on quite a lot to the point the original clips were 15 minutes long, the original video, um, and as you'll see, it's now just over eight minutes long. If you did enjoy this, then please share it with your friends and family, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, which is something I don't know if I've said that before, and it sounds really weird, but it's a thing. That will notify you anytime I actually do upload a video because it's that inconsistent. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you whenever. Thank you for watching and goodbye.